Six hey, welcome. Here. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. All right, first off, pick which game you want to play. to the left and go. Hey, is anybody okay, seen great. my herbal tablets? Now, tell me, how many people do we have playing today? Look out, it's on fire. A fine fire. choice. Now, player one, why don't you type your name in? Help, Help me. Oh, thank you. Okay, player one, I need you to apply yourself here. Enter your name. Uh, can you move back into the frame, please? Oh, here's a good name for you, player. I suck. Okay, player two, don't, don't be a moron like player one. Just put your name in, okay? Hey, player two, you experiencing technical difficulties? Just type your name in. In my day, we didn't Your use new name to is Extra Limp. Oh, hey, Player 3, yeah, could you show me just a little respect and type oh, your name in for remember. me? I think it was like 1897 or something. You see, hey, Player this is 3, you excited to be here? Good. Then type your show. damn name in. Can you imagine the magic that would have happened here? Um, I think we're just going to call you Toe Jam. So I was making up for uh, five seconds. Player one, one, you have the letter Q as in Quintet. Then player two, your buzzer is B, like in the word blowhole. And player three, your buzzer is P, as in partial amputation. I'm making it happen with real butter here. One second. What about okay, listen up. You're gonna get a bunch of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a one, two, three, or four, whichever answer you want. Or if it's a fill in the blank, just type in the answer. Ten. Good luck. Nine. Eight. Seven, and get rid of the desktop. Five, take it to black. Four. Here we go. Three. Timothy, don't just play God. Be God. Daddy. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Yep, that's right. You've made it to our sidekicks episode. And no, this is not an excuse to start kicking people in the side. Instead, it's an excuse to start making fun of people who just aren't as good or famous or beautiful as the stars of this world. Okay, let's go. All right, first I need to pass out some screws. Here you are, three shiny screws. So here's what you do with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make them answer it anyway, buzz in and then hit the S key to screw them. All right, you ready? Let's start. Give me a category. Question number one. Well, what do we have here? They go together like babbling idiots. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Hey, you've seen the movie Grease, right? Or the musical, or heard the soundtrack over and over and over? Well, according to the lyrics of the song, We Go Together, what does Sandy and Danny go together like? Yippee, yippee, yip, shoo, ah, shoo, woo, chang, 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 shabop, rama, lama, lama, kadinga, kadinga, dong, or na, 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 yippity, dippity, do. Player one! According to the song, We Go Together, Sandy and Danny go together like Rama Lama Lama Kadingity Kadingadong. <laughs> My suggestion is that they hop into that flying car of theirs and jet off to a speech therapist. All right, pick the category. Coming at you, muskrat love, be not for landlubbers. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Okay, what's up with Captain and Tennille, huh? Captain always gets top billing over Tennille? Hello? Say, Tennille wants to outrank the captain, huh? How about it? According to the U.S. Navy, what should she change her name to? Ensign Tennille, Admiral Tennille, Lieutenant Tennille, or Commander Tennille? Player two, go! Captain and Admiral Tennille. Admiral, we're being attacked. Captain, calm yourself. There's no vessel on the high seas that can withstand our appealing mix of light pop and ballads. By God, I hope you're right. 
Time to pick a category. For your enjoyment, work it like the second-rate hero you are. $3,000 for this one. Heads up, here it comes. Because their martial art of choice doesn't use them, which of the following sidekicks will not learn how to do a sidekick? Wonder Girl practicing karate, Aqualad studying Aikido, Speedy taking jujitsu, or Robin doing Taekwondo? Player 3, have at it! In the martial art Aikido, there is no sidekick technique, Grasshopper. So, Aqualad will be the only one who wouldn't learn how to do a sidekick. <laughs> but he can talk to fish, so who really cares? All right, I need a category. Well, what do we have here? What's a banana's motivation? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Ready? Here's the question. Suppose you're sick of always playing second banana. If he knows his chemistry, what advice will your agent give so you'll be ripe for a leading role? Quit all that enzyme action, touch. Convert that starch to sugar, babe. Build up those proteins, sweetheart. Or keep replicating that DNA, sweet cakes. Player Player one, who do you want to... Player two, you got to answer it. When fruit ripens, it converts starch to sugar. So if you do the same thing, you'll be a star. <laughs> and soon you'll be starring in such fine films as Going Bananas 2 and Herbie Continues to Go Bananas. Player one, this is why they tell you to remember the names of all the people you screwed, because it's going to come back to haunt you. At the end of round one, we'll be back with round two right after these messages. To learn more about an advertiser, hit any key on your keyboard. We'll show you more information after you leave the game. Welcome back. It's time to play round two, where the values are double. All right, y'all set? Here we go. All right, pick a category. For your viewing pleasure, wanted by the Bolivian Army, the next Tarantino. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. You know, when I think sidekick, I think the Sundance Kid. Which, of course, then makes me think of this. If the Sundance Kid changed his name to reflect where the Sundance Film Festival is held, with whom would Butch Cassidy go out in a blaze of freeze-frame glory? The Park City Kid, the Branson Kid, the Jackson Hole Kid, or the Carson City Kid? It's all yours, Player One. If the Sundance Kid's home was the Sundance Film Festival, he'd hail from Park City, Utah. And those raindrops that keep falling on his head had better be San Pellegrino, boy. Give me a category. Hey, bless Smut with Dime Store. It's time for a Snickerglish restroom. Take a look at this gibberish category. Cooking tips for President Lincoln. The opening value of this gibberish question is 10,000 bucks. Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, tell me what song title this rhymes with. Fry, not stew, Abe. And don't get thrown off by those commas, okay? First clue, it's a kooky love song. 
It's a kooky love song sung by a tall woman and a short man. Well, it's not loving spoonful, I guess. Last clue, he got her, and baby, she got him. Player two, go for it. Type in your... Yeah, many a night I would lay in bed whispering those words into my pillow, pretending it was my girlfriend. But of course, I've since outgrown that sort of behavior, and now I only say it to my sofa. Time to pick a category. Seven, lucky, lucky seven. We're calling this one on the next The X-Files. Well, he kicks the bucket, and this one's going to be worth $4,000. Okay, so you know how in the X-Files, Mulder is always rescuing Scully just in the nick of time? Yeah, whatever. Imagine Mulder is too late, and Scully ends up in hell. If Mulder makes the same deal the mythical figure Orpheus made, what shouldn't Mulder do until he gets Scully the heck out of there? Speak Scully's name, look at Scully, talk to Scully, or hold Scully's hand. Player three, do it! Player three, who would you like to screw? Player two, you gotta answer it! Orpheus was allowed to take his lady friend out of hell, as long as he didn't look at her until he got back to Earth. And similar to Mulder, I believe Orpheus wasn't allowed to say anything unless it was in a monotone mumble. Hey, player three, I think this belongs to you. All right, I need a category. Excellent choice. Players one and three, step back, because player two is going on a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat is the secret word is implants. Okie dokie, I'm going to read off the names of seven characters, and I want you to tell me if they're a side shit to Mitch on Baywatch or to Pee Wee Herman on Pee Wee's Playhouse. As I shout out each one... Oh, you already know how to play. Fine. You got 30 seconds. You ready? Let's dance. Jumby, Baywatch or Pee Wee? Shawnee. Carrie. Lonnie. Toby. Globy. One more, Sherry. That'll do it. Perfect. And with time to spare, no less. Here you go. Congratulations. Let's move on. All right, pick a category. Aloha, question number nine. Let's see what we got going. My Fair Weather Lady. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Hey, do you remember in My Fair Lady how Professor Henry Higgins taught Eliza Doolittle to say, the rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain, which is so true. Well, if Professor Higgins wants to teach Ms. Doolittle to measure how much rain falls mainly in the plain of Spain, what scientific apparatus should he use? A barometer, a pluviometer, a hydrometer, or a rainometer? Tell you, player three. A pluviometer is a device used to measure the depth of rainfall. It can also be used as a tongue twister. Pluviometer, 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 pluviometer. Okay, I think I made my point. That's the end of round two. We'll be right back with round three after this. Welcome back. It's time to play round three. All right, like it or not, you're getting a screw. Only one. That should be plenty. You ready? Good. We're starting. Give me a category. Ten 
fingers and ten toes. Would you like to have a cheap cigar? We're calling this one Belushi Larity. And this one's worth $4,000. Say, you know how Jim Belushi starred opposite a German Shepherd in that hilarious buddy picture, K-9? <laughs> well, if Jim Belushi stars in a prequel to K-9 called K-2, who will be his new partner? The world's second highest mountain, the world's second cloned sheep, the world's second highest oil well, or the world's second highest computer? It's all you, Player 3. Player 3, who would you like to screw? Player two, you gotta answer it. Meet your new partner, the world's second cloned sheep. Not again. Player one, player three, you want it? Player one, do it. K2 is the world's second highest mountain. It's in the Himalayas. Oh great, how am I supposed to get this freaking mountain in the squad car? Whoa, you went volcanic! K2, I guess you're okay! Alright, I need a category. It's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 11. This category is known as Some Sidekicks Need a Good Kick. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. See what you can do with this one. Suppose Gilligan's Island turned out to be Three Mile Island. How might a hilarious episode of Gilligan's Island begin? Gilligan stumbles upon a high security prison. Gilligan stumbles upon resort villages. Gilligan stumbles upon a nuclear reactor site. Or Gilligan stumbles upon giant stone statues. Player three, have at it. Three Mile Island is the site of a nuclear power plant that 20 years ago experienced a radioactive meltdown. The worst nuclear accident in U.S. history. Yeah, I can see it now. Gilligan replaces the cooling rods with coconut shells, and the core melts, and the radiation kills all of us. You know what? That's not even funny. Time to pick a category. Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. This one's called, in sports, sidekick means bench warmer. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Okay, this here is one of those fancy newfangled fill-in-the-blank questions, so when you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. Now tell me, what professional sport do the Dallas sidekicks play? It's all you players. Very clever, sidekicks. Right, I get it. Must be soccer, of course. Indoor soccer. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, there are so many pro leagues these days. Soon, every single person in the country will be a pro athlete. All right, pick a category. Look at the green. It's that team. The category is Ozzy and Lita, the home appliance tour. Heads up, this one's going to be 6000 bucks. Oh, man, remember way back in the 80s when Ozzy Osbourne and Lita Ford recorded that bitchin' duet, Close My Eyes Forever? Yeah! If Ozzy and Lita teamed up again to form a bimetallic strip, what helpful function might they serve around your house? Regulating the thermostat on your furnace, operating your electric blanket, toasting your bread to a golden brown, or ensuring proper functioning of your freezer? Player two. Player two, who's gonna get... Gotta answer it, player one. As the name implies, a bimetallic strip is a strip of two pieces of metal that do some weird scientific stuff that you wouldn't understand even if I explained to you, which makes the heat come on. And before we move on to the next question, I'd just like to say, Ozzy! Yeah! <clears throat> Thank you very much. Let's move on. Hey, player two, right back at you with that screw action. Give me a category. For your enjoyment, just effing around. And this one's worth $6,000. Okay, I have in my hands a very, very old help wanted ad. From about 1763. Ah, oh, stupid 18th century English. I can't tell the difference between the F's and the S's. Oh, great. All right, here it is. 
single white male, Samuel Johnson, speaks Scottish diarist for Fervis F. Perfumo sidekick and biographer. Please send answer Funis. Okay, who probably responded to this freakish ad? Jonathan Swift, Oscar Wilde, James Bothwell, or Samuel Richard Fun? Take a shot, player two. James Boswell must have, must have answer, answered this ad because he's famous for writing Samuel Johnson's biography and being his pal. <laughs> and all those people who used to put F's in for S's way back then, you can go suck yourselves. All right, that's the end of round three. We're going to be right back with the Jack Attack. Play poker online with other people live at www.2am.com. Introducing a revolutionary concept in web design, AirForce.com. Enjoy one-stop shopping for Air Force wallpaper, screensavers, e-cards, and games, all absolutely free. This is an unlimited time offer, so act now. Visit www.airforce.com. Welcome to the Jack Attack. When you see two words on the screen, oh well, someone's been attacked before. Let's see how much you've learned. Here's your clue. Who's your goofy, annoying friend? I like to call him Lil Schmitty, if you must know. Have fun. You enjoy that moment while I tally up the score. Player one's got it. Player one, I have seen some glorious victories in my day, and then I've seen victories like this one. Take what you can, because... You don't know, Jack! Howdy, kids, this is Paco Smucky here, telling you to tune in next week for another exciting episode of You Don't Know Jack the Net Show. Woohoo! <laughs> and they didn't even pay me to say this. Woohoo! Nice work, everybody. Roll the commercials. And Cookie, what's going on now? Hey, players, if you want to do this again, just let me know. Cookie's All right. Is getting slightly distorted. Uh, oh, well, that's the way you want it. Oh, yeah.